Countries without any regulations. Countries where the government will actively use it against their people. It would be catastrophic. A nightmare scenario. And it's probably already in progress. So how do we even begin to stop it? We keep hitting their corporate allies. Expose the risks, the abuse. We're not fighting against Bloom itself. That's a losing battle. We've got to wreck its image and destroy its brand. What's up, Ray? Joshua picked up something strange from the Galilee hack. It's code, but the comments are in Chinese. Oh, tell me the Chinese didn't hack the satellite backbone already. Not the satellite. The submarine cables connecting China and the US. Hmm. That's not even the interesting drop your pants part. Bloom's been monitoring the hack. Joshua says the hackers are stealing data and using it to make a mint on the New York Stock Exchange. And the hackers turned inside a trader, so it's not the first time it's happened. Yeah, we'll get this. The program the hackers are using? Drum roll, Josh, please. Pattern recognition software. Sure as shit looks like bellwether to me. And Bloom knows? So why are they sitting on it? Well, that's why we're talking. We have nothing solid to go on, except our Chinese hackers use their access to pre-clear a cargo ship landing in San Francisco. Their shipping containers just arrived at the port. I'll check it out. Yo, Sitara, what's the container number I'm looking for? LV426. <laughs> oh, seriously? You testing my geek foo? A bit, yeah. It starts with SIBU707. <laughs> okay, I see it. But I got other containers in the way. Gonna have to find a way to unblock it. Marcus, we found a potential diamond in the Galilee dump with Titus's name on it. I'm listening. Wrench and I are working on a plan. Easier if we fill you in when you're back in the garage. Aye. Calm down, calm the fuck down. Riddle me this. Who around here is Chinese and deals in human trafficking? Anti shoe boys for sure. Yeah. Well, it's some high-end human smuggling like I ain't never seen before. His container is nicer than my last apartment. I'm sending you a picture. 
Got it. Who is he and why does he have a bloody nose? Noodle Translate isn't his friend. And he's not your running the mill cargo either. Not sure what I can do with it. Let's see if he can match his face online. My guess, he's got an education if they went to all this trouble. Right. I'll start with Chinese schools and get back to you if I find something. Okay. Oh, and by the way, uh, welcome to America. Marcus, I found your guy. What you got? Graduate of Shanghai Jiao Tong University. He's got a double master's in statistic and business. He's a quant. They definitely need him to number crunch that stock market data, which means the Auntie Shoe Boys are in the business of insider trading. I have a contact in Chinatown who's connected with the Auntie Shoe Boys. I'm sending you his coordinates. Maybe he can help you get answers. <laughs>